holes are drilled in the thermoplastic and the outrigger is simply bolted into place. If the outrigger is to be attached by bonding a layer of thermoplastic, the wire base of the outrigger is heated. The hot wire is carefully embedded in the thermoplastic where the location of the outrigger was marked. A layer of thermoplastic is bonded over the outrigger base. Rivets may be used to reinforce the attachment, but this is not essential if good technique is used in bonding. The lines of the finger cuff are threaded through the wheel by folding the line at its thinnest part. Once threaded, the line is folded at the thick area and creased so that the rubber band or spring will be centered. If a rubber band is used, it is attached to the line. Location of the rubber band anchor is marked. A hole is drilled or punched and a thumb nut is attached which will serve as a rubber band post. Graded elastic lines are attached in a similar way. If springs are used, the spring is attached to a pre-tied sling and anchored on a spring holder. The hex wrench is used to release the set screw. The wheel is adjusted laterally so that the appropriate oblique angle of flexion is maintained. The wheel also rotates 3 fourths inch to maintain a 90 degree angle of pull as range of motion improves. The completed splint is lightweight, comfortable, and stable on the hand. The amount of dynamic tension and the angle of pull is easily modified as range of motion changes. The Phoenix line guide serves as a very low profile pulley, redirecting the angle of force in a flexion assist for a single digit. It is particularly useful when the goal is flexion of the distal joints. It may be used in conjunction with a flexion assist at the MP joint to aid composite flexion, or when passive flexion of the MP joint is not a concern, it may be used alone. When used with a dorsal blocking splint, it provides an alternative method to create passive flexion for a Kleinert program following flexor tendon injury. This section will show the line guide fastened to an ulnar gutter splint. The fingernail is covered with loop Velcro, the fuzzy. It's important that the surface of the nail is clean. Adhesive back Velcro may be used, or plain Velcro may be attached with super glue. Nail polish remover is used to remove the fuzzy. A small piece of hook Velcro is cut and a hole is punched in it. The location of the line guide is determined by the normal oblique angle of flexion. A hole is drilled in the thermoplastic and the line guide is simply bolted into place. A nylon line is threaded through the line guide, then the hook Velcro. The line is then threaded through the line connector. It is attached to the nail. The desired length is determined. The line is secured with a line connector as shown, or a fisherman's knot may be used. The line is attached to the dynamic component of choice. The result is a low profile and low friction pulley. Mm -hmm.